Okay, today we're going to look at um, how to copy data from one practice to another. This can be helpful if you have a new practice that you're starting up, but you need things like your diagnosis codes or your insurance um, companies to be copied over to use in that new practice. So here's our, our new practice that we have. If we look in here, we'll look at the insurance carriers. There's nothing in there. Uh, look at our diagnosis codes. We don't have anything in there either. Uh, we want to be able to copy this from our other practice. We have in Metasoft over here, our tutorial practice. So what we'll do is we'll close out of Metasoft. We'll go up to our icon and we'll right click on it. And we'll click on this option here, open file location. So we'll open up the, our Metasoft bin folder. If we scroll down here, we'll find a utility called MediUtils. We'll double click on that right there. And we're going to, going to open up the practice that we want to copy data from. So it's going to be our tutorial data. And we're going to OK. It'll ask us to log in. So we'll log in here. Oops. Try that again. And then we will go over to this option here, export data records. We'll click OK. Continue without backup, because we don't need a backup in this instance, but you can do that if you need to. So what we want to copy over is our diagnosis table. So it'll if we click it once, it'll give us a little arrow. We'll want to click it so that we get the red check mark. It'll automatically select all the records that are exportable. And we also want our insurance carrier. So we'll click on that and it'll give us that option to um, it has those and it doesn't automatically check them. We can just select all or you can go through and check individually if you want. So we have our diagnosis codes and our insurance carriers selected. So uh, what we need to do now is come up here and click Find. This will allow us to save it to a certain spot on our, our machine here. So I'm going to go to the desktop. We're just going to name this Export Tables. It doesn't matter what you name it. Um, it just stores it in the temporary folder here for us. So we will go ahead and open, and then we'll click Export. And that'll go through, it'll do its process, it'll give us a summary of what it did, and process is completed. So we we'll click OK on that. We'll close out of that window. And we can go up here and we will change to the practice we're going to copy to. So this is going to be our new practice. And then it changes over to that. And on this one, we want to select this import data records. So we'll click OK there, continue without backup. Now we'll go up to the Find button, and we will find our exported tables here on our desktop. We'll click Open, and here it will show the tables that we've exported. So I'm going to click on this Import All to pull in any records there. Now we will click Import. It'll go through this process there, and it will finish. We have 71 records and nine records, uh, 71 records and diagnosis codes and nine records and insurance. So close out of that. We can close out of our our uh, in records import and we'll close out of many utils here. So we close out of that. Let's go into Metasoft now. And we'll go into our new practice here. That'll take a second to load up. And there we go. So this is our new practice. Let's go over to our diagnosis codes. And then now we see we have all of our diagnosis codes that were in our, our old practice there are waiting for us to use. We go over to our insurance carriers and they're there as well. So like I said, this is helpful if you need to create a new practice and you need to add in information that is applicable to that new practice that you have maybe from another practice. Um, and if you run into any issues with this, definitely give us a call. We can, we can definitely help you out. Uh, thank you for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and also do us a favor and click that like button. Thanks again and see you on the next one.